So this is very, very important to the future of the progressive movement, and quite frankly, welcome, thank you so much for being here, essential to the health of our nation. If you agree with that statement, give us a round of applause. Problem. People look at Nancy Pelosi, they look at the fact that Hillary ran an amazing race for president, they look at Condoleezza Rice, they look at Madeleine Albright, they look at Hillary Clinton and they think, well, the job's done. But the United States is ranked 84th in the world in the number of women in elected office. I'm going to repeat that one. 84th in the world in the number of women in elected office. Is that good or bad? That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. And here's why we're here today. <clears throat> I would argue with you that we have moved past saying that we need more women in elected office because it's an issue of fairness. Because the truth of the matter is we need more women in elected office because it's what's best for the country. Applaud if you agree with that statement. <laughs> This country, despite having the best hospitals and the best specialists in the world, no one argues with that fact, is ranked 36th by the World Health Organization in the quality of care delivered to its citizens. And that tells it all. Ranked 84th, ranked 36th. When you put a woman in office, what she will fight for is the quality of life of everyday working Americans. And that tradition started with a very important woman you all need to start learning about and writing it down. If you don't know about her, her name was Frances Perkins. Phenomenal book out there written by Kirsten Downey. Buy it, Amazon. The paperback just came out on Amazon, or it's about to, a lot cheaper. Read the book. Frances Perkins, awesome book. I could not put it down for a nanosecond. The same nonsense I dealt with when I ran for U.S. Congress, she dealt with way back in the Roosevelt administration. Now everybody gives Roosevelt the credit for Social Security, 40-hour work week, Medicare. Guess who did that? Francis, Francis Perkins. Perkins. The only reason she took the job is she said, honey, if you want me to be in your cabinet, there's a couple things that I insist that we get done. Social Security, which she was the visionary and creator of, 40-hour work week with the pro-labor legislation that she husbanded through, Medicare, and the only thing she didn't get done that she wanted to get done that she knew needed to get done was universal health care. And the ones that fought her back then weren't the insurance companies because they didn't exist yet. It was the doctors who fought her. So back then she couldn't even get health care done. Hillary tried to do it again. She couldn't get it in. Heck, we'll see what happens. This issue of having more women in elected office is essential for the future of our country, period. And we as women need to stand up and fight for this. If I see one more young woman come to me and say, I'm not going to vote for her just because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And we have some young women here. Guess what, guys, gals? You need to vote for a woman because she's a woman. As long as she's qualified, you need to vote for her. And young women that say, well, you know, I like Obama better. I get the sexy thing. I get it, all right? But the truth of the matter is, maybe our young women don't appreciate that the only reason that they work at Citibank and are a vice president of Citibank is because there was a woman before her who was the only woman in that bank who only got that job because of affirmative action legislation. I'm sorry, guys. That's the truth of it. It's the truth. And Answer me this. If Martin Luther King had said to our black brothers and sisters back when the movement was strong, you don't have to vote for anybody because you're black. Would we have any African American electeds right now? The answer is no, we would not. So this is an issue of national significance that we must rally around. It's not enough for us to say, we want more women. We have to prove why it's important. And you tell me, and then we'll let these gals sit down, are you willing to vote for qualified women when they run? Are you willing to do that? Yes. Excuse me? Yes. I did not hear you. Yes. A little louder. Yes. All right, ladies, you may sit down.